Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Evan Schneider, and today in this Resolve tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to take any export from any editing program and bring it into Resolve without having to deal with any raw footage or any scaling or anything like that to be able to get to coloring as soon as possible. This is a really fast way to do it, and so I'm excited to show you guys today. Okay, so we're here in Premiere, and um, you can actually pretty much use any editing program that you want as long as it can export an EDL. So as you can see here, I have my edited timeline and I have everything in place. So if I want a really fast and easy way to bring it from Premiere and bring it into Resolve, you use what's called a pre-conformed EDL. So my first step is I wanna go through my timeline and remove any temporary color that I've applied while I was editing. The one thing that you do want to leave is your stabilizations, any cropping, any sort of effects that don't affect the color. The next thing you want to do is if you have different videos on different tracks, you want to bring all of those down to the video one track. The next thing you want to do is remove any titles that you might have. Zoom in and I'm actually going to select all of these titles and I'm going to right click on them and just unclick enable. That way when I'm color correcting, I'm not color correcting over the titles. Now is the time that you want to export your EDL. I go to file, export, EDL. In the EDL export settings, you want to make sure it's CMX 3600. You want to check use source file name and include transitions. Next, you want to make sure that your video track you're exporting is track one, as we have everything down here. So you click OK, then you choose the location and press save. Now, once you have your EDL exported, you actually want to go back into your timeline and remove any transitions that you might have. I think our timeline is ready, so we're ready to export. In whatever program you're using, you want to go to File, Export, Media. Now, in your export settings, you want to go to QuickTime, in the video codec setting, you want to go to Apple ProRes 422 HQ. Video settings, I'm going to match my source. My depth is 8 bits per channel, render at maximum depth, and check for use maximum render quality. Next, you want to go to the audio tab. Make sure it's uncompressed, 24-bit audio, 48,000 hertz. Make sure you're exporting it to the right place, press save, and then press export. Now, the last thing you want to do is export your titles. So to do that, I'm going to re-highlight my titles, right click on them, and click enable. Then you want to take all of the footage underneath your titles and disable it. Next, you want to select the in and out point of those titles, go to file, export, media, go to QuickTime, custom, my video codec, I want to go to Apple ProRes 444, match source, and depth, I want to go to 16 bits per channel plus alpha. That way I can overlay it in Resolve. This is all you need to go into Resolve and start working. Now that I'm in Resolve, I want to go to the folder where I put the exported QuickTime file. I have the file right here and I'm going to click and drag that into my media bin. Now, once it's in my media bin, I want to right click it, go to timelines, import, preconformed EDL. So I'm going to click the EDL and press open. Enter the timeline name and press OK. Now you want to check the folder that the QuickTime file is located in and press OK. Now this will create a new timeline that you can double click on and it'll bring it to your edit page. Now you can see what the EDL has done here. It's taken my QuickTime file and chopped it up into the different shots that I had in my edit and kept my uncompressed audio track underneath. And it's exactly how it was when I edited it. Now the next thing I want to do in Resolve is add back my titles. Go to wherever you exported your titles and drag it into your media pool. Next, just to make sure you want to right click on it, go to change alpha mode and make sure it's set to straight. Next I want to go to my edit tab and drag in on top my titles. Then I'm just going to delete the audio track that came with it. The next thing you want to do is recreate your dissolves. Now I have my dissolve coming in on top of my color. 
Now, once you have all of this set up, you should be good to go to color. So go to the color tab, and now you can color it just like any other video as if you're using the raw footage. 